In class, we learned how to find the inverse of a matrix by hand. The one we did was a 2x2 two two matrix. Uh, now we've moved up to a 3x3. Three three. I'll show you how to do that using Excel. And uh, the bigger the matrix gets, the more difficult finding that inverse by hand becomes. So it's time we learned how to do it with uh, the technology. So let's show you how to do that. First of all, uh, we, we notice that A is a square matrix. If a, if a matrix is not a square matrix, you will not find an inverse for it. And if it is a square matrix, it might have an inverse or it may not be invertible. So we're going to try this out to see if A is invertible. We'll come down here and say the inverse of A, which we write A, and then we have a superscript of negative 1. That is the symbol for... Um, inverse, so this is A inverse, and we know if it does exist it will be a 3 by 3. Okay, so how do I find that? Well, I've highlighted the place the, where the result is going to go. I hit equals because it's a formula. Since we want the inverse, I hit matrix inverse, and notice this pops up, min, minverse, which is matrix inverse. I double click it. What do I want the matrix inverse of? A. So I hit the array, select the array that holds the matrix A. Since this is a matrix computation, I hold the control shift and hit return or enter. And there is the inverse of A. This is invertible. It does have an inverse. And I see that I've got it uh, in there. I'm going to widen. You'll notice that this column is accurate to the tenths, nearest tenth this one to the nearest thousandth, and this column to the nearest hundredth. So th there's some greater accuracy as if we were to widen the columns and be able to see that. But what I'd like to do now is to determine if in fact this really is the inverse. And we have a way of checking that. As we learned in class, if you were to take a matrix and multiply it by its inverse, we should get the identity matrix. So let's do that. So A times uh, a inverse, so we'll go a times a inverse will be equal to, and now we know that a 3 by 3 times a 3 by 3 will result in a 3 by 3, so I will highlight a 3 by 3. Here's where we're going to put our answer, and we hit equals. Now I'm going to multiply a, so I do matrix multiplication and I uh, double click that I take the inverse and I could with inverses you can go either way so I'll go the inverse times well, that's the comma to separate those arrays now I take it times the matrix A and I hold down control shift return and you'll notice that we have the main diagonal of 1. Everything else is 0. I don't know what that funny negative 0 is doing, but uh, there is the confirmation that this really is indeed the inverse of A because it yields the identity. And that's how you find the inverse of a matrix with technology. It's very slick, very quick, no matter the size of our matrix. And this is going to come in very handy for us in the future.